C language session 4. In session 4 we will be taking up conditional statements that is conditional statements are used for decision making like true or false. Based on a given condition the compiler will decide to execute a particular task or to skip that particular task. This is called as conditional statements. The syntax the very first conditional statement for if is if the condition or expression will be giving up certain condition in the set of braces this we call as if condition if this is true it will execute the statement or statements for example hash include stdio.h a main function now in this say integer a comma b scan for the prompt the user so that he can enter some values enter numbers now scan certain values person d for both ampersand a comma ampersand b now here after getting the values say if if a greater than b if this is true then print a is big ok now say control f9 to see the output because of scanf again it's asking the values let for a it be 78 and for b it be 23 is it not 78 greater than b and so because this is true I'll be executing the printf statement a is big the output happens to be consider the values given by user are 45 45 and 99 what do you say 45 greater than 99 is absolutely false and so I won't execute the printf statement so whenever this condition is true we'll execute the printf for whatever it may be whenever the condition is false we'll skip this block we call this block as if block so based on the condition we'll be executing the if block or we'll be skipping the if block the next one is else block if else statement two way branching now it's clear that if the condition is false we are skipping this entire if block if this is false then the compiler will go for else block saying printf if a is not big then the other thing can be b is big now again check for the output if your inputs are 45 and 33 45 is greater than 33 as this is true I'll be printing a is big if my inputs now are 56 56 and 89 56 is greater than 89 is absolutely false now comes the else block into play printing b is big so when the condition is true we'll enter into if block when the condition is false we'll skip the if block and we'll take up else block so it's either if block or else block anyone but not both the same example over here if else statement two way branching if a greater than b you'll be saying a greater than b if this is false come to else block saying a is less than b now, taking up few more examples over here this is a program with which you can find out which is the highest given between two numbers going for another program a main function in which I take up 
value let the variable name be number so printf enter a number for users prompting sake scanf percent comma ampersand number now because of scanf we will get an input if a condition in the set of braces that we will see like my requirement in this program is to say whether the given number into the variable number is a even number or odd number so mathematical logic for even number happens to be if consider it's 33 when you divide 33 by 2 if your reminder is 0 33 is an even number but in fact the reminder we get when we divide 33 by 2 is 1 so it's odd number so what I say in the condition is the number which can be anything and I'm speaking about reminder we have the percentile operator the reminder what I get when I divide with 2 is it the same as 0 Consider it is 32, 32 percentile 2, yes 32 divided by 2, reminder is 0, yes this is true. So printf percent d is even. If not, comes to else block printf percent d is odd. Now consider my input is 32, 32. Because when you divide 32 by 2, the reminder you get is 0. Is it not the same I am comparing over here? And hence I will print 32 is even. If my input is now 45. 45. 45 divided by 2, the percentile that is the reminder what we get. Is it 0? It is 1 actually. Now this entire if condition is false, when the condition is false, we will be coming to else block printing person D is, that is 45 is odd. So in this way, using an if condition, we can say whether the given number is even or odd. The if condition is specially used in making certain decision. Whether this, then do, then execute the if block. If the condition given over here is true, execute the if block. If the condition given over here is false, execute the else block. One more example. An integer variable i is 10, comma j is 20. If i less than j, which is true, absolutely true, and I want to execute if block. As you know, the output is if block because the condition is absolutely true. If I want to execute more than two statements under if block, write those two statements in a set of statements. Another statement execute these two statements in a set of block now compiler treats both the statements as one based on the condition compiler will decide whether to execute the sta two statements or whether to skip the two statements as of now this is a true condition so it will give if another if block and another statement as your output Going for another program, now this is a program with which we can find out the given year, is it a leap year or not. So, include the header file stdio.h, main, integer year is a variable name, so printf, enter a year. scanf 
person D, comma, ampersand, year. Now before going for the condition, first of all, how will we decide whether the given year is a leap year or not? Consider the case 2000, that is a leap year, because 2000 is divisible by 4 as well as 400. And consider a year like 1984. 1984 is divisible by 4 but not divisible by 400. So for leap year, especially for leap years, if it is divisible by 400, that is a leap year. And normal years, if the normal year is divisible by 4, it is a leap year. Apart from these, if we get any other year which comes out of these things, it is considered as a non-leap year. So, the condition happens to be, if year percentile, the remainder, when you divide it with 4, is it same as 0? Or, year percentile 400 when you divide the year with 400 is it same as 0 if these two and the logical and year percentile 100 not equal to 0 then you can consider it as a leap year Person D is a leap year. If not, print F person D is not a leap year. Now execute the program. Let the year be 200, 2000. 2000 is a leap year because 2000 is divisible by 4 actually when it comes to centuries the centuries should be divisible by 400 strictly 400 can divide 2000 and so this entire condition happens to be true I am executing 2000 is a leap year consider one more input this time the input is 1900 does 1900 divisible by 400 So, considering 1900, 1900 is not a leap year and one more year like 1984 which is a leap year. So, the leap year statement happens to be when a year is divisible by 4, it, it is considered as a leap year. If it's not divisible by 4, it's not considered as a leap year. And coming to centuries, it should be divisible by 400. Whereas 1900 is not divisible by 400. And so we don't consider as 1900 as a leap year. Coming to the other sections of if block is, hash include stdio dot h a main function in which I say I'll receive the marks for subject 1 comma subject 2 comma subject 3 a float variable with name avg in which I place the average of S1 plus S2 plus S3 by 3. So S1 plus S2 plus S3 add them first of all and divide by 3 with this we will get the average. Now if average is greater than or equal to 60 we can directly say printf first class if average is less than or let me say is greater than or equal to uh, now if average it's if it's greater than 60 it's first class if average is greater than 
45 or let me say 45 and average is less than or equal to 59 greater than or equal to 45 and less than or equal to 59 then we can say printf second class if average is greater than or equal to 35 and average is less than or equal to 44 then we can print third class if average is less than 35 then we can print fail now give the inputs give the inputs let it be Sixty, sixty, and sixty. So it's first class. Now let the inputs be fifty, fifty, fifty. It's second class. Now let me give the inputs as forty, forty, and forty. So it's third class. If my inputs are less than thirty-five, the average. Let it be thirty-four, thirty-four, and thirty-four. So it's a failure. So in this way we can use if else conditions with which we can decide whether to take up this block or to go for else block strictly based on the condition. We'll take up furthermore if else conditions calling as nested if block in the next session.